Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Annals of Tacitus by the Franklin Library. As you can see I have two copies here and you can tell that they're quite different. I'll tell you about this one then I'll tell you about this one here which I just got in right now. Okay so firstly, I believe it's probably been maybe about a year I ordered the Annals of Tacitus and um, this is what I got in. As you can see here, when I got the book in, I opened it up and the book itself was disconnected from the cover. Now, also you'll notice that here is the book from the beginning. As you can see, the Annals of Tacitus here. But this does not match this. I looked at it and this, which is the front cover, so here's the end paper, is upside down and matches the back of this book. So not only is it disconnected from the spine, but it also printed and bound upside down and backwards. Okay? So that's the first thing that I noticed and I thought was quite funny. Secondly is that the binding itself really isn't that nice. It has the appearance of being leather, yet it is not actually leather. Also, you'll see that the spine, the raised ribs aren't really that raised and it's mostly flat. Um, the gold gilding is not deep at all. It's basically just screened and printed. As you can see, there's even some damage on the gilding right there. Overall, it's a really disappointing and, you know, I paid, I think, $20 for it. And the seller, after I complained multiple times, uh, only offered a refund and wouldn't ship me um, pay for the shipping back which was quite expensive for me to ship back to them so I decided that it was actually just cheaper for me simply uh, to keep it now the inside is actually the book so this is not some fake version of the book it is the Annals of Tacitus however just as you can tell here a really cheap binding printed improperly and broken as well so recently for school, my syllabus asked that I pick up a copy of uh, the Annals and I didn't want to walk around with the book either like this or just walk around with this, the book block. So I ordered another one online and I think it just cost me 30 bucks. And I, the entire time I was waiting for it, thinking I was going to get something like this, just of course properly bound. What I got instead was this. Now this is more reminiscent of something you'd get from the Franklin Library. Uh, the other book I showed you, this one here, as you can tell, doesn't even have a ribbon marker on it. This one does. So that's reminiscent of a Franklin Library book. And the spine, you can tell, has deeper gilding in it, more detailed gilding. And the spine is quarter bound in blue leather and buckram sides with gilding. And if you look at the gilding, you can tell that it's not just surface, it's actually imprinted um, within, it's embossed within the book itself. So if we take a look on the inside, the end papers are also different than the previous books. And you can see the artwork there, the Annals of Tacitus. There you go, same front cover there. And the rest of the book, you got the ribbon marker there, and then the end pages there. So I'm actually quite happy that I ended up, uh, getting this one here and unfortunately I waited quite long to pick up uh, a better volume um, but I'm happy that I have it now so when you guys are looking online you'll see a picture of this one and you'll see a picture of this one if any of you guys can explain why they are two different volumes bound in two entirely different ways uh, please feel free to leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below uh, I would love to hear what you think uh, that's the Annals of Tacitus. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, keep on reading.